This video is the last exercise of the basic flight maneuvers, turns. Just keep that balance. So there's your 50 degrees. Push a little bit more on the rudder. Just there. Yeah. That's your rudder. Now you can feel equal pressure on both bump cheeks. I like it a lot. And now we're going. There we go. We are about to stall. And this is our adventures in and around South Africa. This is the seventh video in an ongoing series documenting my PPL training. In this video, I learned level turning as well as climbing and descending turns, forming part of the last exercise covering the basic flight maneuvers. This means that after this lesson, I'll be doing most of the flying going forward and start doing more of the radio calls. Just a disclaimer, although this video is meant to be informative, it should not be used as instruction. Please consult your instructor. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the cockpit. Hello. Today we are doing? Turning. Exercise 9. Getting there, slowly but surely. Yeah. Can't nice. get, go fast enough. <laughs> yeah. I want to get to circle to see how quickly it moves. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. And we'll check back, tank up and out to final approach, zero to touch and go. Once again, I've skipped the passenger and emergency briefing in this video because next video will be dedicated to them specifically. Um, Panorama traffic, Papa Bravo Charlie entering, backtracking it on my two, uh, zero 02. Panorama traffic, Papa Bravo Charlie rolling zero 02. Right here, not losing Anakin. So normal fly level, we know where the nose attitude should be to give us a decent speed. So we're just going to go back to that normal speed. Now today is a little bit turbulent as well, so you'll see workloads kind of increasing just a bit. Yeah. And that's why a lot of things start falling out of place. Again, it's normal for this phase of training because we're so busy looking at handling of a plane. Yeah. And now instead of us just handling the plane in normal conditions, we're handling it in a little bit of a turbulence as well. So it's normal for workload to increase in this thing. So don't feel that, oh, I did bad, I do a shit flight, or whatever. It's just purely because of, um, purely because of the turbulence that will increase your workload. Yeah. The one thing I can guarantee you though, is you're going to sleep like a baby tonight. <laughs> because the workload will make uh, you, you physically not, but yeah, mentally it will well. drain you. Yeah. We first start off by getting the sight picture in the turn. Shamir will do the turn while I have a look where the horizon touches the cowling. Remember, we fly by visual references. And now you can initiate the turn. Now you've got a nice little bank, uh, aileron to bank, rather to hold. Yeah. And then we keep the so balls in the middle, that's nice. And now we've got a turn, All right? So now we need to look at the medium turn. So we are physically doing a turn, we're maintaining altitude, which is good, but we're not yet on the required bank angle. The required bank angle for reference is that first long line there, so okay. 50 degree margin. So we bank just a little bit more for the 50 degrees, and then like we mentioned in the, in the briefing, we're now adding in a little bit of pitch to maintain altitude. Okay, so we're going to looking at bank angles, specific bank angles, um, where we will then be doing a 30 degree bank on the aircraft. We've discussed the, the change in the weight and then again balancing in. Um, most often when we do the 30 degree, you need to add a little bit of back pressure to the nose, um, just to raise the nose just that little bit to sustain it because we are now changing the values of lift. Okay. Yeah. Because it's turbulent, again, another reason why you're going to be mentally drained, is because we need to constantly keep the aileron moving to get yeah. us that tip. We can't just put it there and let go, because the wind is throwing us in and out of the bank. So now we're in the turn. Look at that pizza slice that you have on your side. Yeah. Find out where that horizon is sitting on your nose, and maintain that base on your nose. Then while we're doing the turn, every so quarter turn or so, 
Just check bank angle, speed and altitude, happy, back outside. Keep the visual reference going. Do that. Ah, so we're just going to keep it for a while, just to make sure you get happy with that angle. Yeah. And then when you're ready with that, we'll point to Heineken factory, and then we're going to roll out. Now on 30 degrees, because we've got such a nice, gentle rate of turn, we don't have to turn out from the way really before. So there's our point of reference, now we can slow down, and now we have the point of reference, on the blue point of reference, and then we ease back on the back pressure so we don't get a time. If you add a back pressure, like I said, the sling is very capable. The RPM is going to maintain a specific value, yeah. so it will compensate for us. Okay, so now you've done the easy one of the turn. Now we need to do the more difficult one. It's only difficult because the horizon is not going to cut your cow. Yeah. It's going to be a floating horizon. So for you to find the reference point for a floating horizon, it's going to take a little bit longer. So we're going to initiate it. I'll let you initiate one. We're going to okay. clear ourselves on the left or the right side. Do one quarter clear, yeah. and then we're good for it. We can do the turn. So now you're going to bank it. Check your instrument for a 30. There's your 30 degrees. We're holding on the altitude, and now you look where your horizon sits. You can see how the horizon is floating. Yeah. So it becomes a little bit more difficult only because the horizon is different. Once you get comfortable with where the horizon is for this attitude, you can then maintain. And then we're going to come in and out of the contact, yeah, yeah, just yeah, checking yeah, the references. Yeah, yeah. So we're referencing our speed, it's still good, altitude is still good, and 30 degree bank is just about there. That's yeah. it. And now we're maintaining. I find it actually, my reference is about here. On this, up here? Yeah. But I. Oh yeah, for this one, yeah. Yeah, for this one. Yeah. Yeah. So wherever you find the reference, if you're going to get in another sling, the reference is about the same. Yeah. So when you get in a Cessna, that's why you do your conversion flights. Yeah. You do get a Cessna, you want to convert to that, and then you get in there, you fly with an instructor, get comfortable with what it is, and then you're good for that thing. Okay, so there's our reference point pointing there. And now we're going to turn back, and I can see we turn onto the reference quite quick. It's not yeah. that we have to turn uh, way earlier. When we're doing the steep turns, and you'll see how we must now manage when we start the roller. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then uh, while there, you can give me another turn to the left. Okay, so I'll clear my, we'll clear my right side. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, a little bit more bank angle. Keep the reference on the attitude, like say the level. It's all about the attitude. It's all about that attitude. <laughs> Your parents say, don't have an attitude, now you have to have exactly, an attitude. Exactly, exactly. Now it's time to yeah. have an attitude. Yeah. Parents also said, stop watching YouTube, hey, but hey, it's a career now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's still, it's still a weird thing. But the YouTube thing. Yeah, like people. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Then on your left hand turn, back is nice and everything. But this is not something that you'll, you'll pick up as you go. You should be able to feel the balance on the ball through your body. Yeah. So, your heart would need that would be Yeah. Like so, a, a good explanation I've seen is like two hands cupping you. And the, the side it's pressing your bum is the side you exactly, need to step on. Exactly. And okay. that's what we're trying to feel. So you can actually feel that slide. Yeah. So now you're putting in there, you use that rudder, just keep that balance. So there's your 30 degrees, push a little bit more on the rudder, just there. Yeah. That's your rudder. Now you can feel equal pressure on both bum cheeks. I like it a lot. So keep that rudder working there. Yeah. Again, don't look at the ball, feel the ball. After a few level turns and having refined my visual reference, we moved on to climbing and descending turns. Essentially combining the references for turns with climb or descending, but at a lesser angle and adjusting the power accordingly to get the desired effect. Using the past mnemonic, you start the climb or descend first and then initiate the turn. That's it for the turning exercise, and while I can't wait to get to circuit, Shamir's saying comes back to me and will stay with me for the rest of my training. Don't look at the ball, feel the ball. Thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing, it really helps this channel to grow. And you'll be notified when the next video is up.
Until then, dream big, fly high and live the adventure.